In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to add multiple tracks in your title designer. I'm going to take one of the default designs and for a title, uh, my movie title 01, drag it down into track number one. And then I'm going to double click on it to highlight it. Immediately it gives me my title and if I click on the the play and the preview I will see what that will look like. I'm going to stop that now and let's go ahead and change this. I'm going to drag it up to the top and we will say um, fantastic story. Okay now uh, maybe in that same title I want something else to come in. Let me show you how to add. All I need to do is double click anywhere in the preview window and I get an icon and we'll just say uh, um, surprise here. And what I'm going to do is it, it tends to inherit all the characteristics of the previous the segment. I'm going to change the color. We'll just change it to an orange here. And we'll look at the effects here. Look at starting effect. And uh, let's change it just to a glow. And we can change the ending effect. We can also change where it is in the title track. So right now it starts at the beginning at the same time of, of the other one called Fantastic Story. And if I drag up I see that's on track one. You notice each one has its own position, scale, opacity, and rotation settings. So I'll have surprise come in a little bit later. And I will shorten the, the intro effect. If I hold the mouse over the closing effect, right now there is none. So there isn't one, and I could add one if I wanted to. I can click on effect here, and then click down on ending effect. And we'll just go uh, double vision for now. All right. So uh, that's one. Now watch. I, you can add as many as you want. We'll take another one. There we go. Um, surprise, suspense. Again, it inherits what my last uh, item was. I can uh, click on this. Uh, click on the double arrow. There we go. And we'll go back to our object. We'll change the color of this one uh, to a yellow. I can also change on its own track's position. For example, let's suppose we want it to start off the screen. I'm going to move my scrubber to the left. And uh, let's see, let's make suspense start farther in though. Let's move it over here. And with the scrubber in this position, I'll take the text and move it off to the right where I can see it over here. And then I'll click on my position. We'll set a keyframe at this locale. And then we'll move it over to uh, here. And we'll go ahead and drag it in. And that will set another uh, point on the keyframe. So now if I play all three at once, Move this back on the screen, and if I hit my play, and that comes in one way, one color, that glows in over here, and the other rides in from the right. So it's almost like doing what you would do on your general screen in your title designer. You have all these features and characters. You can affect the scale, the opacity, the rotation of every single uh, track element in your title, but this is all within one title section. So if I click on OK, all of these elements are tucked into this title section. They're not all on separate tracks. Now there are some things I can't do as much. Everything is confined to the width of this track of this element here, but it's a very interesting way to take what you find in your titles room and change it. You can take any of the predefined items that you find here and go ahead and use them as they exist, modify them, and add more tracks to them 
using this kind of method.